Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is a quick video check-in going over the homework for today. Um, we have finished up our section on the Revolutionary War. Um, that was just kind of a general review of what was going on. Should have covered that in previous classes, and we have to continue to move forward to make sure that we cover what we need to for the year. Um, so as we transition, we're going to be moving into a new era of U.S. history, and at the beginning of every change in kind of unit or uh, time, we will take a day or two to look at what is changing as far as geography, because as we move through time in U.S. history, we are moving through the expansion of the U.S. as well. Um, so today we have three maps to look at. Um, they are linked here, and you can open each one. Um, each section will let you know which map you primarily need to use to answer the questions. So for here, um, looking at the total population map, which is right here, and then using that map, you should be able to answer these questions. Um, so for example, we'll look here. Um, which two states had the largest population? This is our total population map. And so we'll look through title, population of the United States, 1790. Okay. We have our cities here. There are 24 of them. These are the 24 largest cities in America at this time. And this is our key, the important bit about reading a map. So our question was, which two states had the largest population? So looking at population in 1790, largest population, deep purple. So we know automatically Virginia is one of the states with the largest population. Looking through, no more deep purple. Okay, we'll go back. So now we have this weird, ugly, purple-brown color. That is the next largest. And there's only one state that has that. So the two states with the largest population are going to be Virginia and Pennsylvania. And that is answer to number one. So moving forward, um, using the enslaved population map and free population map, which are these two. This is the free population in the US. So the population of these states who are not in bondage, who are not in slavery. And this is the population that is in slavery in the United States. So these would be the two maps to use for this section. So if you say which states had few or no slaves in their population, you can tell me state by state, um, or you can generally just say the region, um, because I realize spelling it all out might be a little hard as far as typing and flipping back and forth. Um, and then continue to move on. Okay. In four, five, and six, you can tell me a state or you can specifically tell me what kind of state might have a problem. So which state would be most affected by a system of voting that did not count slaves as a part of the population? You could pick a specific state, or you could pick and just say all states that have this. That would be okay too. The last four questions are going to be your critical thinking questions. So given what you know, what do you think is going to happen? So kind of looking forward into the future. And those are uh, what we have for today. Um, next class, we'll be starting to look uh, at vocabulary for the new unit, and then we'll continue to move onward um, through time and look at what happens when a country that has just overthrown a government tries to build a government for themselves. Will it work? Will it not work? Um, and how we act around that. So hope you well. Have a good week.